what's going on youtubers welcome to gfx capture in this video i will show you how to edit and customize after effects templates from envato elements for this video i've picked up a branded intro template from envato elements which we will edit and customize in case you missed the other tutorials in my channel please check out the envato playlist in my channel or click on the link at the top to take you to the playlist envato elements has a lot of stock footage images, templates, fonts, and much more. What's more exciting is that you get a royalty-free license to use the content for commercial use as well. You can use the link in the description if you want to save on your Envato elements. So let's start. The template I'm gonna use today is called the Branded Intro. The link is in the description if you want to download it later on. Download the zip file to your desired location on the PC or Mac. Unzip the file and launch After Effects. Go to file and open project, then locate the project file. In this case, it's going to be branded intro. If you get this message to say it will be converted from version 10, simply click OK. Once you're in the project, you will see different compositions um, and sub compositions. What you need to do, first of all, is in here, you will see the final comp. You can also see the edit comps in the project window. The first thing we need to do is if you want, we can change some colors. We can change some images. We can also bring some images here as well. What I always do is to create another folder for my media, like videos and images, just to keep things nice and tidy. What I would do is to just to create a new folder outside of these uh, subfolders and I'll call it media. Now, the next thing is I want to import some of my media. So I'll just go okay and download this. Now I'm sh gonna shift it to this media folder. The first thing is we want to know how we can edit and what's actually inside these sub compositions because as you can see, they've all been pre-compiled for you and there is some text, some animation, etc., etc. already there. The first thing I would say to do is to go to the scene one and here you can you can start editing. So the first thing I would do is if you play it. I would like to change this text for example okay so I will go to the text one or text zero one composition and over here if you want another text just double click on it come here and I would say because you're doing it for a brand let's take an example let's do it as Nike Nike intro okay give it a space so when you come back here to your scene one that's how it's going to look like now what you can also do if you noticed is this the 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 composition is actually very uh, small in terms of the resolution so what you can do is go to the composition settings and click on the width and the height here um, I'm just gonna make just just to show you how it actually works I'll make it into 700 but keeping the aspect ratio locked so the the height automatically changed as you saw Okay, so if I go back into it, let me just show you again. It was 622 by 255. If I change that to 700, it automatically changed from 255 to 287. I'm going to click on it. Okay, and you saw the, the size changed. Okay, you can always expand or increase the, the scale of it in this composition, but I prefer to do it here just because you keep things nice and tidy and the resolution actually works out better in this way. Now, once you're done, and you can also make some other changes as well to, to the text, font, etc, etc, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of this tutorial. Once you're done with it, close this and go back to your scene one, and this is what you will see. Now, you also have this little animation with a squiggly line. If you want to change the shape of it, what you will do is that you will come to Contents, Shape 1, and then select Path. This is where you can change the shape of it. So, here you go. Okay, and this is how I would like, just, just to make it a bit more like the, the Nike um, logo okay uh, obviously it's not exactly like that and I'm not taking the copyright images from Nike so I'm just making it as as a look-alike okay and that's it and you've also got some other trim parts animations here as well I'm not gonna touch that but feel free to, to play around with it and once you play it this is how it's gonna look like okay 
there we go okay so nike intro and it goes like you know in in the shape of the the, the nike logo there we go so i think we are good with this the next thing i would like to do is to let's play it and see what the next step is in this template they have created okay so i think what we should do is to get another image for the background here change the color of this maybe do something a bit lighter okay and i'm gonna go to the images here and i'm gonna download the the image that we imported earlier on press s for the scale and increase it close this and go back to your scene one now what will happen is we have got and they have already set the alpha mat selected so what will happen is that when you play it it will work like this okay now obviously with this one you can change it if you want and this goes to the images too okay so i'll go into images 02 i will import another jpeg file or is it jpeg i'm not sure but anyway it's a picture i'm gonna press on s to increase the, the scale so that it fits okay and let's just make it half resolution so you can see a better picture or make it full as well just so you see a crispy picture here okay now close that and what we have is we have a another image that we already have the animation on so when you play it this is how it's going to look like okay exactly like how you saw that in the video earlier on from Envato elements so this is all about adding the right images at the right time plus making the, the the timing correct if you have a any animation or any effects already on try to understand what effects those are and how it impacts or affects your final composition it may be an alpha mat it may be a luma mat it may be something else a transition maybe but try to understand how these how these templates have been put together by the creators uh, because some of them are really easy to edit some of them are a bit tricky and you have to maybe take two or three more steps to understand exactly how they have been put together so this is the first scene pretty much done unless you want to change any other uh, colors feel free to do that but what we're going to do is close this one and go to the final comp and see how it actually looks like now let me just put it to half the resolution and also increase the size so that it fits the screen right let's have a look okay it's very nice what you can also do and I have been asked this question a few times so I'm going to show you in this video if you have multiple compositions like this and you want to increase or decrease the timing of that for example you want to end this composition here uh, let's say over here once it's done and you want to end this composition here and you want to bring this forward how would you do that it's very easy you go into you check the time here first of all so as you can see your your timer your cursor is on the 508 so 5 seconds 8 um, what you do is go in here into the composition go to the composition settings and click on the duration and make it to 508 now what that will do is that that will chop the end of this comp okay what will happen is you will automatically see that being reduced and you can just bring this forward so that you have a nice transition or um, step into the next composition whatever you have okay what you can also do is on the other hand if you want to increase the 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 duration of this simply again go into the composition 
go into the composition settings and change that from it was 718 I think or 713 and make it to about I don't know 10 seconds or something like that whatever you like or whatever you need so I'm gonna make this duration 10 seconds okay this will overlap now when you go to the final comp and here you have all you need to do is just push out the the other composition which is the one after this the only thing you have to bear in mind is when you go into this composition you have you've increased the the timing but you have not increased the sub composition or the animations and all the rest of it in this composition so your composition at the end will look completely blank in the end so that's what you have to bear in mind and you have to fill it in with whatever animations or video or text or uh, images you want to bring in okay so as you can see now this is the blank area which i talked about and you can either bring any other videos you can bring any more animation or any other effects on any images or maybe just copy and paste these and you know give it another name and change some of the effects in those okay it's simple as that so I'm not going to go into every every scene, every sub composition, but you got the idea of how to edit these templates. It is very simple. The hard work has already been done for you. All you need to do is bring your images, your videos, your your text, uh, put some animation on there. Understand how the the template has been put together because that's the most important thing, and you are good to go. So I hope you've liked the video. I hope it was useful for you. If you are new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the other videos in my Envato Element series in my playlist and until the next video, look after yourself, see you then, bye.